Thank you for your interest in our obstetrics and gynecology residency program. It is an exciting time to be part of our program. And as you have learned from watching our overview video, Inova Fairfax Medical Campus's diverse and growing community provides a wide range of experiences for our residents. Our ACGME fully accredited program is comprised of 24 bright and talented residents, several of whom you will meet during this virtual tour. This gorgeous 665,000 square foot, 12 story women's hospital is a major referral center for complex obstetrical and gynecologic care and provides a state of the art physical environment in which our residents learn. Hi everybody, my name is Carmen Proctor. I'm one of the fourth year chief residents. Welcome to our program virtually. One of the greatest things that we have here at ANOVA is our antenatal testing center. This is where you get a chance to learn how to do ultrasounds and meet some of our great MFM patients. So come on, let's, let's go. <laughs> we have some great sonographers who are down here who teach us and they give us hands-on interaction with the patients. You get a chance to learn, interact with the attendings as well as our MFM fellow. Um, and you get this opportunity not only when you're on our maternal fetal medicine rotation, but also as an intern to come down and really learn your ultrasound skills. Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Block. I'm one of the maternal fetal medicine doctors here at Inova Fairfax, and I also um, do fetal surgery and fetal intervention. So I work with the residents a lot um, when I'm rounding on antepartum service and also do a lot of didactic teaching with the residents. Um, it's an awesome program here. There are a lot of great people, not just great doctors, and we would love to have you, so I'm glad that you're interested. So if a patient comes into the hospital and they need an ultrasound, and for whatever reason that ultrasound is abnormal, we have our obstetrical emergency department, which is right down here. So our patients are able to move quickly and everything is connected. I'll show you. Welcome to our OBED. We've got one of our great OBED adopters here, Dr. Toth, who's able to work with us daily and have interactions with our residents. So Dr. Toth, tell me a little bit about your time working with the residents. Very enjoyable. Um, we have a very fine teaching opportunity here and learning opportunity and I think it's beneficial for both the residents and also for the staff and the physicians. What's so great is that Dr. Toth stays down here so anytime we have a patient that comes in and needs to be triaged he's here to help us out, answer any of our questions, help us with ultrasounds and come up with a plan. And also pimp. And also pimp. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Toth. You're very welcome. I'm Shannon Osborne. I'm one of the PGY2s here. Um, and I actually rotated here as a medical student. I did an AI here. Um, and when I was choosing a program, it was really important for me to find a place where I felt really comfortable with all of the staff. So it was so obvious to me that all the residents got along really well, the relationships between the residents and the attendings, and not even just that, but the relationships between all of the staff too. So you'll feel very supported with all of our nursing staff, all of the operating room staff. So that was something that really stood out to me in this program, is just you'll be, feel very comfortable and in a safe space working with everybody you'll see every day. Hi guys, welcome to Inova Fairfax Labor and Delivery. Here are some of our wonderful nurses that we work with. <laughs> and then we'll take you into a labor and delivery room. All right guys, so this is one of our labor and delivery rooms. We have 33 rooms here on our labor and delivery floor, so very busy. Each room has its own space for baby. So a baby warmer, computers for our pediatric teams. Um, each patient has a private room with their own bathroom and of course our labor and delivery bed. Um, our nurses can use these computers and watch the monitors up here. Um, and that's about it in here. 
All right, so these here, of course you can watch the fetal heart tracing strips from pretty much any point in the hospital that you'll ever be. Um, we have these along all of the nursing hallways and all of our physician lounges, your personal call room, the big call rooms, um, so we can always see what's going on. Our nurses also do an excellent job of continuously monitoring these as well while they're here on the floor um, at their workstations. All right, so this is one of our other special rooms in here. Keep up the good work, Mayor. You can come in here and work out during your free time, get the blood flowing, ready for your delivery. Um, we have a fetal monitoring strip over here. We can use the computers just like you would the medical record and look up anything, keep tracking your patients while um, you're enjoying a nice little workout. All right, my friends, next stop on our list is our C-section ORs, so come on in. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. All right, so in here we have six dedicated C-section ORs just for our ladies who are having C-sections. Sometimes we'll do tubal ligations or cesarean hysterectomies in these rooms. So one of the best parts about our program is that we have women's ORs which are completely separate from all of the main ORs. So our GYN OR is downstairs, a full suite of ORs downstairs for our GYN cases, and then a full suite of ORs upstairs for our C-sections. All of the staff, nursing, everybody's very familiar with all of our cases because they only work with women's surgery. In addition to having our own C-section and GYN ORs, we also have our own C-section and GYN pre-op areas and PACU. So again, all of our staff is very familiar with our cases and know exactly what to do um, to help us out. Hi, my name is Meredith Huber. I'm a second year, originally from North Carolina, but moved up here for residency. Um, one thing I love about being in Northern Virginia is that there's always something new and exciting going on. Um, I live in Alexandria, so closer to DC, there's always food festivals and different things happening in Alexandria. It's also right on the waterfront, really beautiful, and you can see the monuments. Hi, I'm gonna show you around our resident work area. So over here we have a computer area where we can do our charting, writing our notes. Um, we have room for five or six residents out here. We have a screen up here where we can watch the fetal heart rate tracings as well as the OR board up there so we know when, the, when our cases are going back to the OR. Um, oh, we have this great sign here that was handmade by one of our nurse midwives telling us when each of our nurse midwives are here and who we can call if we have questions. On um, the sides of our work area is our resident call rooms. This is the third year call room. Here's Ashley in here working. Um, we love that we have beds in here for when there's time to rest, another computer work area, and another screen to be watching heart rate tracings. Over to the right is our attendings room. This is Dr. Cole, he's our attending for the day. We love how close this is to where we are all working, so they're always available if we have questions. Great to meet you guys, welcome. Hope to see you soon. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name's Conway, I'm one of our current third year residents. We're so happy you guys are interested in our program. Just wanted to say how awesome of a place it is to work. We work in a beautiful, dedicated women and children's hospital. Um, we have our separate C-section ORs as well as our GYN ORs. Uh, we definitely get our interns um, uh, into surgeries from day one. Um, I love my colleagues. Our holidays here are especially uh, fun. Um, we oftentimes will do a door decorating contest um, as well as a secret Santa. Um, I, I felt really, really grateful um, just uh, being able to take advantage of our high surgical volumes um, as our attendings definitely try to get us in um, and leading cases well before even our chief year. Um, and so it's, it's been an awesome experience so far and I uh, super duper highly recommend this program. And welcome to our OR suite where we have six to eight dedicated GYN uh, ORs. So, we ne so it's never a challenge to get cases booked. 
because we don't have to share with our other uh, surgical services here at Fairfax. All right, and here we have pre-op and PACU. So this is pre-op where our patients will start the day. And this is recovery where our patients uh, will spend a few hours before they either go home or up to our GYN floor for their recovery. And welcome to our GYN post-op floor. Let's go take a look. So all of our post-operative patients will uh, spend a, a couple nights uh, for their recovery here. Did I mention we are highly ranked? And in case you need a little pick-me-up, we have a secret candy stash. <laughs> This is our nursing station. And this is Claire, one of our awesome Gynoc Hello. nurse practitioners. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Ashley. I'm one of the third year residents here at Inova Fairfax Hospital. Um, I absolutely love this program. You know, I think what initially brought me here was the surgical experience. It's a very busy hospital. Um, we have a lot of laboring patients, a lot of surgeries, but um, really I think ultimately what, what made me stay was the people. You know, everyone here um, is so kind. We have great nursing staff that we work with. Our co-residents are absolutely wonderful. We're like a big family. Um, and OB residency is very busy, and so I think it's something, it's very important to have lots of good people around you, and we certainly have that here. We have a great culture, lots of great people, lots of great working relationships. Another thing that I really love about our program is ICAMS is one of our simulation centers. One of the best parts is a lot of the rooms look the same as some of the rooms that we have on labor and delivery, the NICU, and things like that. And so when we're practicing OB emergencies and different things of that nature, it really feels like you're in the main part of the hospital, which is a huge benefit to our education. Um, so let me show you around. So this is one of our models. Um, this is to practice an ECV or an external cephalic version, where we actually try to vert babies that are malpositioned, maybe breach or transverse, um, into vertex presentation to hopefully have a vaginal delivery. And so in this model, you can actually feel the baby's buttock and head, and you can actually practice trying to try to rotate the babies under ultrasound guidance with your colleagues. Now I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Marco, who's actually the medical director of our simulation center, and she runs our simulation program with our residents here. Hi, Dr. Marco. Thank you, Ashley. Would you like to introduce us to your sidekick here? Yes, absolutely. This is Noelle. She is a high fidelity mannequin, and we use her in order to instru instruct our residents on things like um, obstetrical emergencies and help them prepare for that. Uh, they can do a forceps delivery on Noelle um, or a breech delivery. Noelle here can, uh, can bleed out and have a postpartum hemorrhage. We, uh, we can have her seize and have a hypertensive crisis and they have to manage that. Uh, among a, a whole other uh, series of things that we can uh, program this high fidelity mannequin to do for the, our residents. And I think this is a safe learning environment and it gives them a chance to stop and think and slow down and practice again so that they're really ready for when those emergencies happen in the real clinical environment. How are you doing, Noelle? The baby's coming. Nice. <laughs> So as you can see here, this is one of our simulated ORs here in ICAMS, or our simulation center. We get a lot of practice with obstetrical emergencies here in our simulation center. One of the which is most common that we see here is postpartum hemorrhage. In our OR here, we can actually practice doing b lunge sutures and cesarean hysterectomies um, to prepare us for postpartum hemorrhage situations. We have all of the instruments here. You can practice calling for instruments. You can actually practice the surgery here. You're able to see the bladder, the ureters, and all sorts of good things here in our um, C-section OR. And then we also have an impacted fetal head model. So sometimes if someone has been laboring for a very long time, it can be very difficult to deliver the fetal head. And so actually here on this mannequin, you can practice uh, making it more and more difficult to deliver the fetal head to try and deliver the baby safely during a C-section. 
All right, everyone, welcome to Aztec. This is our surgical training center here at Inova Fairfax Hospital. As OBGYN residents, we use these laparoscopic trainers quite frequently. We also practice on the Da Vinci robot um, to gain the skills that we need to actually be able to use them in the operating room. We also have a hysteroscopic trainer that we use to train the interns when they first get here. We do lots of suturing labs, and actually even every year we have a cadaver lab where we practice various types of hysterectomies. So we make a lot of good use of the surgical training center to help hone our surgical skills to get us ready for the OR. Hi, I'm Allie. I'm one of your administrative chief residents. One of our greatest strengths here at ANOVA is our great diversity of cases and our great volume of cases. As a large referral center for Northern Virginia, we see everything under the sun. Every case that's supposed to be rare, guarantee you'll see at least two. <laughs> We'd love for you to come check it out for yourself. Hi, my name is Dr. Demma Vandy. I'm a GYN hospitalist and one of the teaching attendings, and I want to welcome you to ANOVA. Hello, my name is Dr. Baijol. I'm the Associate Program Director, and I'm excited to welcome you at ANOVA. I know that once you explore our program and facilities, you will see that this world-class medical campus is the ideal environment for trainees to both grow and thrive.